Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, once again we're going to be going over Lewis dot structures using an AN chart. Uh, we'll, we'll go over the molecular geometry, orbital geometry, hybridization, and axis notation. Now before you can get started you're going to need two handouts. One handout you'll need is a periodic table. If you don't have one you can get one from my website that you see here. Uh, you'll also need handout 6A which you see here. I'll maximize it so you can see it. Uh, it will help with uh, the molecular geometry, the orbital geometry, and the hybridization and the axis notation. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see which one we're going to be doing today. I had uh, quite a few people asking about resonance structure, so let's go ahead and do one that's uh, probably have a resonance structure. Uh, this would be SO3. So let's go ahead and start with an AND chart. Now right away, you don't know if you're going to have a resonance structure until you work the problem. So. Uh, but sometimes some helpful hints is usually if you've got oxygen or something in family uh, 16 on the periodic table uh, which is right here usually anything coming out of family 16 usually generates a double bond and uh, usually where you have double bonds you'll have resonance structure so let's go ahead and get started E A N make a list of the elements that you have you have sulfur three oxygens one two Three, no charge, uh, which is good. Now, uh, available electrons, that's valence electron count. We need to look on the periodic table, so let's pull that back up. Notice that on this periodic table that we have, notice that oxygen is in column 16, okay, and so is sulfur. So they will all need six, well, excuse me, they will not all need six, but they have, all, all of them have six valence electrons. So, let's go ahead and go back to the video. Now, here you'll put sixes all the way down. Now, as far as need amount, they'll all need two. Excuse me, they'll all need eight, not two. Now, there's only five elements that need two in the end chart. That's hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, and boron, which are the first five elements on the periodic table. So, let's add these up. A adds up to one, two, three, four. Six times four is 24. N adds up to one, two, three, four. Four times eight is 32. We subtract these to get the shared amount. 32 minus 24 is 8. And the number of bonds is 4. Now to get the number of lone pairs, the non-bonding electron total count is A minus S, and that would be 16. Because 24 minus 8, which is A minus S, is 16. So we have down that we have 4 bonds. Now this is when you're going to be able to tell that you have a resonance structure. Now watch. Central atom is going to be S. Now, after you figure that out, write down the substituents. You've got three O's. So that's one, two, three. Three oxygens, three O's. Now, you need at least one, two, three bonds to get everything attached. But you calculated that you have four. So what that means is you're going to have to put a double bond somewhere around this. Okay? If you put it here, then you have to show that you could have also placed it somewhere else you could have also placed it on the other one. Okay, meaning this. Instead of putting it here, you could have placed it here. Now we gotta draw the structure again because we have one more choice. Sorry that I'm running out of room on my paper, but you know paper only goes so far. And the other possible structure would have been this. Notice that you're still just moving the double bond around. Now these are your three resonance structures and that's the most that you'll have is three resonance structures and sometimes you'll just have two but this one had three because we just moved the double bond around now I didn't have to start it there I just did okay now we're done all that all that's left is we need the uh, the following to be filled out because these are our drawings we need the uh, orbital geometry we need the molecular geometry We need the um, polarity. We need the hybridization. And we need the axis notation. Now, you'll use handout 6A to answer all these questions for you, uh, but you'll need to memorize it. If not, then you need to, <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> keep it with you at all times. Anyway, uh, notice that you've got 
you've got three bonds, one, two, three. Yes, I discounted the double bond one time. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So the molecular number that we're looking for is three comma. Notice that you don't have any lone pairs on any of the S's. So we're looking for three, zero. On handout 6A, three, zero is right here. Okay, three, zero tells you that the orbital geometry is trigonal. planar. Uh, the molecular geometry is uh, trigonal planar. The polarity, notice it's lightly grayed. On this sheet, wherever it's lightly grayed, it's nonpolar. Now let me show you what I've done so far on my uh, video camera. I filled out if you can read this, trigonal planar, trigonal planar, polarity, nonpolar. As far as hybridization, you can just look back to the sheet for that. Hybridization, you see right there is sp2, and the axe notation is ax3. And I'll go back to the camera. All right, there's ax3. Now the hybridization, I always like showing the students this. Just count your way around. One, that's this is the first bond that you see. We'll call that an S. P1, P2. That's how I've always taught mine. So basically, S, P1, P2. S, P1, P2. Anyway, well, guys, I hope this helps. I uh, hope I explained the resonance structure a little bit more clearly. And if not, just watch it over and over and over again. And uh, I hope it helps. Now, only thing that's left is the credits. All right, guys. I really hoped it helped, and just watch it over and over and over. Thank you for visiting.